I am married. I've been married to one John Thongori for a long time now. This is our 21st, 21st year together. And I have two children, a 19-year-old and a 17-year-old. That renowned family lawyer, Judy Thongori, is a force to reckon with is not in question. In her own right, she has earned her place in the legal circles among learned friends, so much so that she is today an authority in family law. I have recognized that after 26 years of hard work, I have given a lot of what I can in terms of um, running up and about. And I have recognized that what I have gained from all those years of experience is wisdom. And wisdom is not imparted in a hurry, you know, so to speak. So because I can't run on a day-to-day -day basis doing the things that I did when, I, you know, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I am working with a, a team of lawyers and have said to them, guys, I've given all that I can. It's your turn now to give. And so I'm watching their back, I'm mentoring them, I'm helping them along and uh, hoping that they will learn from me what I learned from the people before me. Family law practice was not in the cards when Judy Dongori graduated from law school. It is a path she has had to chat out. At the time, I had no idea that my life would end up, you know, my professional life especially, would end up where it is now. I, you know, left law school, worked at the Attorney General's for a few months, knew that it was not what I was looking for because it wasn't challenging enough. And I thought, no, I didn't put my feet in water to read and we read back in the day just so that I might come hang my coat because then it was hanging the coat. I say this of course with deep respect for the people who work there now. I think it's a totally different place and you know feel not needed. It is why she joined several law firms where she practiced commercial law. Well as a Dung Jorgen coach uh, my older sisters, older sisters-in-law, that's um, Justice Martha Komen then, she was in practice. And Nancy Baraza kept on urging me to join FIDA. And I was like, what would I do? I'm a commercial lawyer. And they said, no, 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 we think that you should. You'd be happy there as a head of litigation. And finally I listened to them. And the first time I went to court, the first time I had ever dealt with a matrimonial matter, somebody was objecting to something and saying this marriage should have been contracted under that act or something and I was like, you know, what's this? But then uh, Mr. Mutugi, now a judge, told me, no, you go by the laws, the acts of parliament with respect to marriages, go read them and learn something new, okay? And so I did. It would mark a turning point in her career. For the first time, I understood that I carried knowledge that was capable of changing somebody's life that if I could use it for a woman to access maintenance, then her life changed, that of her children changed. That's when I truly understood what and why I went to law school, to make a difference at a very personal level. The job description has not been without its fair share of challenges. As a family lawyer, you're only popular to your side, you're not popular on the other side. And of course, you know, everybody likes to be liked. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it comes with the territory. Comes Indeed, it, it comes with the territory. Um, a number of things, actually. And also the, the perception, you know, that people have. <laughs> they think I'm so tough, so curly. My God, I'm the simplest person you ever saw. But a friend of mine said to me many years ago, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. You know, I used to defend and say, oh, but I'm, you know, I'm not such an easy person. But I know there are certain things that just go with your public image. Nothing you can do about it. Make the best out of it. And make the best out of it she has. Judy Dongori is the first woman to be inducted into the Law Society of Kenya Role of Honor. And for me, I was immensely proud of that. Uh, not only just about the recognition, but about the recognition of family law. It was an area of law that was not much desired by many of my practicing colleagues, obviously because of the emotions involved. And I felt that we need to make people understand how important it is. Give it visibility, family law, family conflicts, and the effect that family conflicts can have on a very performing person, you know, as it were. And so for me, the fact that the Law Society recognized that that work was important 
uh, was also a way of knowing that we had achieved and that we had put our family law in mainstream uh, work. In fact, you've been here this afternoon about family then tells me we've, we've done it. We're in mainstream. Kenyans will recall that she was a leading light in the push for the enactment of the Marriage Act and the Matrimonial Property Act. It is still an important piece of legislation that has taken us much further than where we were because it's no longer an issue what contribution amounts to. You know about child care, you know about domestic work, you know about companionship, which was not the case before, but also about monetary contribution. Mentorship remains at the core of it all for a woman whose mark in the practice will be felt for long. In the end, we are pieces of the experiences we have. And it's so nice when somebody who's been there, seen that, done that, is able to tell you, perhaps you do not have to reinvent the wheel. You can do it this way. Sally Milu, Citizen Weekend.